Alright, my viewers, thank you for watching this video. Um, you see, it seems like the major security threat Nigeria is facing today is the Fulani headsman. That is my, my observation. You know, who have chosen to unleash mayhem on their host, mostly farmers. Mostly farmers. I don't know the misunderstanding that they have with the farmers or is it that the farmers are competing with them in terms of what they know best which has to do with farming or what or is the farmers competing with them in the in the in the in the, in the labor market huh is it full on headsmen we are accused of being responsible for major mm -hmm. cases of kidnapping, mm -hmm. raping, maiming, and killing of innocent citizens. All these are the atrocities that these Fulani headsmen are accused of, and that is their main, mm -hmm. their main uh, uh, offense. If you see a Fulani man, you either see him raping. You either see him kidnapping or you either see him killing. These are their atrocities. Okay, in order to checkmate the excesses of these headsmen in the southwest, a security outfit was actually now set up called Amotepun in Oyo. This security outfit was not just set up, it was set up and recognized by both the state government and the federal government. Or your youth could not just depend on this security outfit. Even as the Amoteku is active, they also carry out raids in their bushes and forests as we speak to ensure the safety of the people. Now, in this video, you will see how the Amotekuns and the youths, they did not even wait for the Amotekun, in fact, the youths mostly, they took the move and chased these hoodlums out completely. You know, you remember that Sunday Igoho, who happens to be the head of the Amoteku, gave them some, gave the, the headsmen an automatum to leave for your so it seems that the, the automatum given to them has elapsed and they re have refused to, to heed to the instructions. So that is why they are being chased completely out of the community. So as we speak now, that is what is happening as we speak in Oyo. Oyo is very, very hot right now. So if you know any of your relation or your relatives or anybody that your loved ones that is in or your as i'm speaking to you through this channel you see the importance of being 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 a subscriber to 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 to, to um to blogging channels mm -hmm. if you know of a relative of yours in or your ipadon call him right now to know of his safety because or your is hot the Amote Kuns are chasing the Fulanis completely out of Oyo. It's a, it, 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 it is happening right now. Oyo is very, very, very hot. Call your relatives to know their safety, to know how they are faring right now. Oyo is hot. I am saying this, please, try and do as I've just said. Meanwhile, we gathered from useful information that the uncompleted building in a territory known as Iganga in Oyo State was the hideout where these hoodlums called Fulani kidnappers killed and carry our dear illicit extortions. Following the level of 
rising insecurity and kidnapping in the area, the inhabitants summoned the help of Sunday Igoho, who happens to be the hero of, of, the, um, of the Amotekun. You will see it in the video embedded and you will get yourself um, enlightened. Recall that Ibadan-based politician and youth leader Sunday Igoho yesterday issued a seven-day ultimatum to these hoodlums, Fulani communities in Iganga, Ibarapa, North local government area of Oyo State, over an allegation that they are responsible for the rising insecurity and kidnapping in the area. The famous Ibadan based talk gave the quit notice on Saturday when he led some youth to the sacking Fulani of Oyo State. Alhaji Saliu Abdul Kadel to register their displeasure over the recent killings in the Axis or the innocent indigents. All these are what we have been experiencing. You know, these people, if one doesn't take um, immediate action on them, they will turn the community to something else and before you know it, they will start killing people unnecessarily just like they, 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 they are doing right now in Oyo State. Eh? To go be the glory that um, we, are, we are able to set up this uh, 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 Operation Amotekun, if not for this Operation Amotekun, I'm telling you, what the Nigerian police, they wouldn't have been able to do anything. You can see, that's why I say that our Nigerian police are very, very far from us. They are far from us. There is nothing they can do. So we need a security outfit that will be very close to the people. To checkmate. To secure and protect. You can see. These people can go anywhere. They can enter anywhere. They can, they can go inside the thick forest. They don't mind. Anywhere the Fulanis are going, they will go after them. Okay, see now. See how they are chasing them out now. That is, in fact, so interesting. I love this. This is what we are talking about and this is what should be happening. This is what should be happening in Nigeria. You can see the importance of having a security outfit in this country. So important, so interesting. So I use this medium to reach out to people far and near to come up, to wake up and say no to this nonsense. You understand what I'm saying? So please and please and please, I use this medium to call you on to this um, to this. Uh, to this channel um i know that uh you may have subscribed to this channel mm -hmm. if you have subscribed please say something concerning what is going on right now in oyo leave your own comments below this comment section okay and um if you have not subscribed do yourself